I want to ask if I could show them how to print a, a seating chart with photos once you have it set up in PowerSchool. And uh, fairly simple. Sometimes the photos turn out small, so I'm going to show you, show you the trick of how to make those photos and the names bigger so you can see them. And you don't have to have four foot arms to hold it far enough away to be able to see that print. So open up PowerSchool, get into your Power Teacher, and. Once you are in, go to one of your classes. I go to the first one here. I got uh, three sections in one block, and I, I placed them all together into one seating chart. And here's all my darlings in the seating chart. This is the configuration of the computers uh, set up around the classroom and where I have them seated uh, for that type of setting. And uh, simply on your seating chart, right click or uh, double click. Uh, two finger click on the Mac and go to print. Select print and the window will pop up giving you a nice little preview of what it's going to look like. Now if you just hit print right now it's going to be a little small. As you can see it doesn't quite take up the uh, the whole page there. Uh, it, is a, it is a little small. So how do you fix that? You need to resize it. Uh, you need to blow it up a bit and you do that by going over here to the print using system dialog right? print using system dialog here you click on that and it brings up this older familiar window for printing now right here where it says scale 100 percent what you want to do is kick that up around 175 and that usually makes it a pretty nice size you may have to adjust you might be able to depending on how you have your seating chart configured go you know 180 200 uh, if you have a big layout like this one, you may have to go smaller, um, 150. But uh, again, it makes it larger than what it comes up with as a default there. So I kicked it up to 175. You click print, and it'll come out of whatever printer you had selected there. So there you go. That's how to uh, print your seating chart with photos. I hope that helped. Have a great day.